And good morning people. Welcome back to Breath of Fire 4. We've made it to Sinestra, the place where Alina was last seen. So we need to figure out what happened to her. We've done a bit of looking around the town. It's it's not a big place, but it can be tricky to understand where you're going because, well, there's no clue to it. Okay, Marlock and that guy. Um, can I go around? Thank you. I believe where we need to go though is the orphanage which conveniently enough was directly in front of where you entered this town. Really now? Well, we've got some understanding. Yeah, Elena has been here, assisting the orphanage. So we know she's been doing good things, great. Toys and snacks. Children's clothes. Yeah, we're not going to steal from the orphanage. <laughs> Have to see to the children's meals. Which means first, they need that Chino person back. Yeah, it was that person running around, that kid running around, and, um, are you okay? Can I go upstairs? Okay then, I guess we've got to catch you instead. And there he goes. We've got to catch him. If he sees us, he will run off. And he runs pretty much as fast as we do. There are some places that you can catch up to him though, such as this one. So yeah, you can get him, but he's a pain and almost at him. Oh, there's a person there. There's a wolf there. Okay, where is he? There he is. Okay, so... Didn't take as long as normal, actually. Sometimes it can take ages to find him or we'll catch him. Yeah. 
Yeah, if there's anything that will keep a kid quiet for five minutes, it's food. That's great. Um, the one small issue is she's not here now. Hello, Chino. However, Chino decides um, a lot of things here. We caught him while playing tag. Now we've got to play hide and seek. And yeah, all of those those kids are now very much hiding in the town. So it's time to play. Them, all we need to do is go to them and talk to them. I honestly don't remember how many there are. Um, yeah, you've never had a good, good track record of that, so uh, we'll get it. Well, that's one. That's two. hidden under the eastern wall. Yeah, they do give hints about where other kids are. And, well, the eastern wall, if we go there, is, well, just here. Go off to the gate. Uh, I believe it's this gate down... No, it's... The main gate is over here, isn't it? Hide on the stairs. That one, I believe, is on the... Because... Because of the angles of the actual... viewpoint you can't actually see a lot unless you change them and yeah you might have just caught a, glim a glimpse of her while changing that not even from the top of the bridge in the center of town okay No, I don't think you're that one. You might be. Yeah, you might be actually, so...
six steps south, 16 steps west, and then one step north. Four, uh, three steps west, three steps south. And then four steps west. Um, I don't think, don't even remember what you uh, what uh, you are, but. Uh, I don't think you're that person. Um, Did I pick them all up? And it's just, um... Let's head back into the orphanage and see if I've got them all. I haven't got Chino, but there's a reason for that. Okay, it doesn't look like I've got all of them yet. But that should take people off the map. Yeah. Not even... Mm. I'm missing something around here. I don't think there's any in any of the houses. They would have say, uh, said if it was everyone there. Right. Try looking north from the top of the bridge.
Um, hmm. This is the point where I go, okay, which part is north? Um, because I can, I'm pretty certain, certain it's the orange part. You know what? Why am I not? No, why am I not using this? He's got a thing which is you know, very well suited for this. You would think. Again, I don't think there's any in the actual houses. Okay. Maybe that was it. Okay, so that one I just got was the one for the inn. You've you got been got so it's just this modi one. Or Rudd as well. Oh, oh, I did have them. <laughs> I just needed to talk to the nurse here. In a cellar. Well, there's only one cellar that we know about in this place. Monsters still thrive under there. If you think we have to go and catch him in in there, well, yeah. There is someone that says uh, about how to get past this person. And it's not really that hard, actually.
standing there watching the entrance all day. Are you saying we're not doing uh, that? He's not doing his job. Yes, actually. Because now that we've got him shouting, there is someone. Oh, um, there is a water. This this girl here, she carries water. He's now very thirsty. And well, when she gets close enough and offers it, um, he does give. Um, he does go and take a drink. There he goes. And with that, we can walk down. So yeah, he's not doing his job. It does allow us to go and find Chino though. There are enemies down here. They're fairly rare, I believe. I'll take free ammonia. But I believe they're mostly rats. Yeah, mice. Hungry rodent uh, uh, attacks all it can see with snap. Which, yeah, we do want. If I remember correctly, these have a fair amount of evade. So we are going to have to attack them with magic for the most part. And I do want Snap. Snap is actually pretty great as a attack. And there goes that one. Snap is a attack that can reduce defense. And I don't think that these are the ones that have the higher fade. I think I may be thinking about something later or a rare enemy here. Uh, let's check the shelves. Nope, nothing. Ah, protein. Excellent. Ah, four of them. Uh, burn. Let's go. Oh, uh, fire, wind, and you can guard. And there's snap. Excellent. It's based on physical attack as well, so it's quite useful for some of your hitters. Prey, I believe, works well with this. Urshin does as well. It's not not a great one for Ryu, I find, even though he can use it. Because you really want Ryu doing other things.
you don't really get a lot down here though so it's not worth it except for snap really 80s any not too bad on the shelf Ah, uh, there you are, Chino. I think we found you. And he's conveniently put a barrel in front of the door. So, we'll go and pick up this item, the Raptor Claws. I believe that's a weapon for Urshin, actually. Yeah, wind ba uh, wind based attack. So we've got some we've got ice, fire and wind. I'm gonna keep him with the ice claws for ice punch for the moment. But uh, we could be changing him up a little bit later. I'm actually wondering can you change items in change weapons in battle? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Ah, Roach. Takes to the air when seriously threatened. I believe they're weak against wind, so that Raptor Claw might be useful. Ah, about normal. That's fine, though. You can definitely see that uh, Nina has a lot more uh, magical presence. Jump. I'm not really too impressed with that. You're actually doing 271 with your physical attack, Nina. That's better than Eddie. Uh, that's your better than Sever for that. Well, we know for next time. Now we've kind of come up a level, though. We could fall down there. However. Chino was above this one, or below this one. So hide and seek has been won. When she was getting ready to leave town... Chino followed. One of them was Marlock, the shop owner. Marlock is a merchant who has dealings with the Empire, but that's really not all. He has dealings everywhere. 
but if he was working for the Empire this time... Yes, what Nina said. Elena has been taken to the West. Very well might be true. There's also a bodyguard there. Well, we've seen this bodyguard. And we are going to go and talk to him. But that's going to be next time. Because this next section is going to take a little bit. And I actually want to make sure I'm getting everything right. Plus, I need to rest. Well, do I? You know what? Nah, we're just going to save. So next time, off to see Marlock. Let's make a business deal with him about what happened to Alina. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.